We found one family that waited three days before returning to their East Palestine home in the aftermath of that disaster. They tell our Michelle Nix it's like life imitating art and the reality hits too close to home. Talk about art imitating life. An East Palestine man says his family signed up to be extras in a Netflix film that was shot not far from here last year. The plot, dramatic and a catastrophe eerily similar to what played out on the tracks here. But living through it, you get a different perspective and it's harder to take the, I mean, in some ways it hits very close to home, but in some ways it's, you can't necessarily capture the range of emotions. Ben Ratner, his wife and four children live nine tenths of a mile away from where the massive train derailment, fire and controlled explosion happened. Unlike what you see in the movies, the sound of a train on the tracks now unsettling. The order was lifted on the evacuation and within an hour or a half hour trains were already rolling through. So it's like those trains had to have been on the way. But he says the good news, he can tell the trains have slowed down and are using their whistle more frequently than before the derailment disaster. They're going much slower than they were before. So they know people are paying attention safety wise. Um, I believe it's the law that they have to blow their whistle three times at each interse intersection. Ben and his family just moved back home today and are still waiting for their home to be inspected for peace of mind. Concern that miles down the road, the community may not fully be back on track. If the toxins and chemicals that at one point had such an ominous cloud hanging over their community seeps into their water table. It's really hope for, that for the future, this isn't something that gets you know, swept under the table. Ratner tells me, like so many others here, he is concerned about how this real life drama will play out months, even years from now, and if Norfolk Southern will stay on track to make sure there are no long lasting impacts to their health or the environment. Reporting in East Palestine, Michelle Nix, 19 News.